now. You could like Bagsy up with, you know, with Kirk. You could live oh with God, Kirk. I don't. I know. No, it could be a new no, bromance no. to sort of rival Mark I'm and Sorry, Arch. not. No, it's not, not my cup of tea. Help. I'm not saying this to you. At it's all, not my I'm cup on. of tea. Listen, EastEnders. Now we're talking a different kettle of fish. I'm. I'm on. I can imagine me on EastEnders. I like it. You could be the new Peggy. New Peggy. Do you reckon? Or Grant. No, I like to be Shane. I like to be. I like to come back as Shane. Do you remember when there was the um, Shane Ritchie, um, Alfie and Alfie and Cat. no Alfie, Alfie and the he's Spencer. Do you remember Spencer? Oh yeah. You know he left. I could be the new Spencer. Just come back for a couple of weeks, bit of a cameo. Yeah. You know, pull a few girls. You know, make it a little bit. bit have a fight with Phil Mitchell. <laughs> nick some money. That would work. Yeah. Yeah. Have That'd an affair great. with Pat, and then. I could just leave Wolford like in two weeks and make a big carnage, like change the whole place upside down. No? I think that would work. Be cool. I think you'd suit it. I'm yeah. not sure if you've got it going on enough to have a fight with Phil. I think he'd win. All right, Phil. All right, son. All right. Yeah. Uh, Nikki says, JLS have told us that you're a total lightweight and you can't handle their after show party. Oh! What have you got to say for yourself? Do you know what? Um, I kind of agree with them in a certain aspect um, because on when I did the JLS very summer to summer, JLS summer stroke, winter stroke horrible rain tour um i loved it i had a really good time and i was very professional because i had to make i wanted to make sure that my fans that came to the shows every show that i was 100 percent in good condition so that's why and the boys know for a fact because they're fibbing because they went out with me on tour once and we had a very good night and i was on a lightweight um so they're, they're fibbing a little bit but they're great lads i love the boys um and it looks like they're gonna get number one this week which is great i'm so proud of them the good lads and it's like their fifth six number one is it or something yeah it's amazing it's it? amazing but the, but i am i'm not as boring as people think i love going out and having a laugh with my mates i just on the jls summer tour i just wanted to be very very professional and do my job and i think that's good you shouldn't drink on work nights that's a fact they were obviously doing that then you're saying it, I'm not me. But it's not I'm, doing them. I never said it. So maybe you I never said it. I'm just saying maybe that, that's why you don't want to go. On I'm just saying that I've always I've worked in in companies and you don't know, drink on a work night. That's what I'm saying. Well, he's a good boy. That's all I'm saying. Uh, Charlotte says, "Who was the last celeb you met, and what did they smell like?" Oh, what was the last celeb I met? Who was this? One Direction, One Direction yesterday. Okay. Um, I went to met the boys yesterday, and they just smelt like seventeen-year-old boys, very linksy. You know what mm. I mean? That sort of Africa that's kind of Atlantis. Real. A little bit of linksy feel, um, but it was cool. They were good lads. They looked the sharp. They room. looked good. Um, yeah, so I saw the one like one D boys yesterday, and they're all good. They're, they're doing well. Yes, they were just getting ready to go. Alan Carr. They're doing Alan Carr show this week. Amazing. Um, but there was Yorkshire Tea turned up, which was quite random at Sony it's yesterday. Random. And they didn't just turn up. They turned up with a camper van, and they turned up with big posters, and turned up with massive trays of Yorkshire tea. Are they okay? And they still? almost did like a promotional thing outside Sony. I was a bit worried about this because I was like, "What the hell?" I'm more worried on? about Alan Carr. I think he'd eat them alive. Are they, are well, do you know what? Okay? I was absolutely fine. The one D boys came in. We had a great time. <laughs> Alan, what is Alan doing here? Atif says Rihanna or Beyonce. That was a great Alan Carr impression. Did you like it? I loved it. it was did brilliant. you like it? You didn't really love yeah. it. You kind no, of no. I did. I was now. just a bit scared to be honest with you, but it was amazing. Here we are, the Capital Web Chat with Ollie Murs having a great time, aren't we? Hashtag anyway. Ollie on Capital if you want to ask your question. Um, <laughs> oh, I do. Or so what was that last, Capital, what was that last that. question again? The last question was Rihanna or Beyonce. I'm not sure what for, in what capacity. Um, you've got to go with Beyonce because she's a little bit older, she's a little bit wiser. I don't know. And she's got maybe. that class. And I think, to be fair, not, not saying Rihanna is incredible, but I just think I've never heard Beyonce hit a bum note, hit... She's always 110%. Like, you got you buy a Beyonce record, she sings like a Beyonce record. I'm not saying Rihanna doesn't, but I think Rihanna puts so much in her routine. She doesn't always sound like her record, which is not a bad thing, because she's very got a very distinctive voice. I just think Beyonce is just utter class. Mm. So and she's literally, I'm, I'm talking her. percentages, like 2%. I mean, I mean Beyonce is kind of like married with Jay-Z and Rihanna's single, so maybe that might sway Rihanna more with me because she's single. I don't know. I'm not sure where your head was going. There, That's a good question, right? Good question I'd like to ask the fans, and I'd love them to tweet me about this. If I got a girlfriend, would they be okay about it? Question That's a really mark. good question. It's a big question. I got asked this, I got, I kind of asked this the other day, and I was like, are, are you single because you're scared of the fans getting upset? And I was kind of like, maybe I am. Maybe it's a phobia that I have. 
No, I just can't get a girlfriend because I'm a bit scared that the fans will hate. Because I was talk about we can talk about this for five minutes if you. Because when I was on the tour, I I actually mentioned a few girls you know that I've that I met in the past, yeah, girls I was seeing that I split up with, and yeah. every time I mentioned that I had a girlfriend or that I was seeing someone, or maybe we just kissed, very slightly, they went bonkers, booze, a galore. Booze. So I'm actually my question is, and please tweet me right now. I want to check my phone in a second after this chat. I want to know, is it okay for me to have a girlfriend or not? Do I'm happy want, either way. Do you want one? Because you said that... You, you if they say, say you yes, Ollie, you You're can have a girlfriend. You're saying, I don't want one, I'm all about my career. But Look, do you, do you know what? It's, for me, it's, I, you know, I can get approval from my mum and dad, it's fine. But the biggest approval I need is from my fans. I need to get approval from the, from the, from the main people because I wouldn't be doing this without them. So... If they're happy for me to get a girlfriend, I'll get a girlfriend. Happy for me to stay single, I'll stay single. It's not a problem. Would it be a fan girlfriend or someone you meet in the industry? It's not a problem either. Either's fine. Not a problem. I, 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 do you know what? I would like to meet someone that likes what I do, regardless. So maybe not even a like, even if they're not a massive fan, but they they would come to my concert because they love me and they Support enjoy my music. You. No, but they enjoy my music as well. They're not like, do you know what? I really love you, but can you just stop singing for a minute? It's all right. Can you just, just don't like it? it really then I would kind of bug me a little bit because I would like someone that kind of appreciates what I do and I appreciate what they do. Are they going to want Rose in their life though? Well, Rose kind of comes. It's like having a dog or a baby or something. Yeah. Unfortunately, Rose is part of my life now. If they can't accept Rose, then that's just the way it is. Unfortunately, it's not going to work out. Um, Holly wants more Alan Carr impressions. Does she? She does. What she does she want me to do? Uh, she doesn't specify. Oh, well, do you know what, ladies and gentlemen? We're having a great time here in Capital. Um, yeah, that's about it, really. I loved it. I it was you know, I actually did it with Alan. I went, on the Alan I went on the Alan Carr show, and I actually did it. It was in, like, in between a break, and it was like, welcome back to the Alan Carr show. I've got Holly Burns here tonight. Everybody say, yeah. Yeah. It was great. I did quite a good Google impression. I did a good Gary Barlow impression. Yeah. Can you hear a Gary Barlow? Let's hear a Gary Bar Barlow impression, but one something something he said on the X Factor. All right, okay, so, do you know what? It was a great performance. Of course, see, you done well. The pitching was great. He was in time. But you know what? When you started singing to the left, to the left, I was hoping you'd keep going to the left because it was a diabolical performance. <laughs> He's actually said that. Yeah. That's amazing. That's a good impression. Gary Barlow is the Throw new Simon Cowell there. Next time, yeah. Completely. But yeah, that was a good impression. Come on. We're going to wrap up the web chat. Why? Oh, I've got one last Why are we question. wrapping up the web chat? You've got to go, right? No, I haven't got to go anywhere. You can sit here. Well, you're going to love this question. This is from Zoe. Okay. But for this question, I just need to come around there and join you. So I'm just going to come around. Okay, a bit worried right now. You're walking around. Yeah, I'm walking around. With a smile okay, on your face. Don't worry, it's not too scary. And a custard pie. A bucket of water. A bucket just of here. water. Right. The place just here. Now I'm a bit worried. Right. And I'm just going to grab JLS. Okay. <laughs> so all JLS. Which ones? Which ones? Are they really the figures? They're I've the never figures. seen the figures. Bring this mic right here. Okay. Why is Aston like six foot tall? He's only like. Four. I have no idea. <laughs> I think they were just trying to make them all fit the same box. And Arisha, he's got no trilby hat. Okay. So what we're gonna do, Ollie, is they we're gonna really take good. JLS. Right? Yes. They're on holiday. Okay. On the Norfolk Broads. They're all Why are they Norfolk time. Broads? No idea. Why aren't they down at Nuki? <laughs> and then. Uh, Aston is like sunbathing here. Aston sunbathing. They're having a great time. He's got his party. But he's got his clothes on, so why would he <laughs> sunbathing in his clothes? <laughs> we can take his clothes off, and it might make it more. Well, I think the girls time. on the web chat would prefer Aston. He's got right, his clothes so off now. Okay, he's got cool. His clothes off. He's having a sunbathe. And let's be honest, he's a look. He's, he's a bit big. He's a bit smaller he's than, more that. Built than that. They're more right? built on the figure. Oh, do you think? I think he's more built in real life. No, he's a lot more skinnier than that. Is he? Yeah. All right. They're on the Norfolk Broads. Yes. Oh my God! Disaster! Disaster! They've gone overboard. Which one are you going to say first? Aston. Aston all the way? Yeah. Why Aston? Because I think that J the Jay Lester's... Can you save them all, Ollie? Just because... Um... What do you mean? Or save them all? Save them all. You're not going to leave the rest of them to just... I, but maybe you said to save one. Well, no, first. Which one would you save first? Oh, I would save... Of course I'd save Aston first, because I'd be too scared if he drowned. Because all the JLSs, I think, Aston is, isn't there... Well, I think Aston could well be their fave, fave. Okay, I just feel sorry Remember. for Marvin right now, who's still there. Marvin's still there. I'll, I'll and and Reesh. Yeah, they're all right because they're good swimmers. And JB. They're good swimmers. I'm not sure Aston can swim. Can he not? Nah. I think I think JB and uh, Reesh and Marvin were like so doing... So Aston first, all the Aston's way for the Aston's got to be saved first. I think if... if I think the JLS fans would be devastated if Aston something ever happened to Aston. I think they would. They, they'd still be devastated if anything happened to the rest of them. But Aston in particular, he's like the Justin Bieber of the group, isn't he? I think so. Come on, you agree with me? He's hundred percent true. I'm a believer, true. to be honest. So any anyone like I've got to say, he, he does get the like the biggest cheers, cheers, massive cheers. You I mean, like, and then when he, and he's always and the only one in the group that takes his top off, and the girls love that. So I'd have to keep him. 
And the other guys would be fine. I mean, I'm sure they'd do backstrokes and breaststrokes. They'd be chilling out and going, oh, it's easy. But are you a believer? I don't. I like Justin Bieber, yeah. I do really do. I actually, I think since um, I didn't like the baby, 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 oh, uh, I, I didn't particularly like it. But I've got to say, the music he's done after that, I actually really, really like. And I really like his new Chris Brown song as well. Awesome. Um, I really like that song. So, yeah, I'm a bit of a, I'm a, bit of a believer, yeah. I think he's, he sort of grows on you a little bit. You sort of get to know him a little bit. And you're like, actually, aside from the... Because obviously a lot of the girls love him because he's a good-looking lad. He can sing, you know, and he's 16, 17 years of age. But for people like me who is like 26, 27, because I'm not really just sort of too sure how old I am. I am 27. Um, Show his age. But he, I think that he's grown on me a little bit because actually he's a very mature lad and he's actually his music's pretty cool. So, awesome. Yeah. But Aston first. It's got... Well, it's got to be Aston first, don't you think? Well, who would you say? I don't know, actually. I'm not in a good place with Aston. Well, well, who, why are you not in a good place with Aston for? I don't want to go into it, but he stole my pink trousers. He stole so your pink long trousers. Story, Ollie. We'll just not go there. What okay? about my pink trousers in Heart Skips a Beat? You're not going to have a bit of beef for me that can be there. <laughs> no. Because I, I borrowed them off Aston. Did you? And don't. apparently he said some guy had them gonna, before this him. This is not a good way to end. Such but, a lovely 20 um, minutes. This isn't, this yeah, I'm a, bit, I'm a bit worried while I've got. JLS dolls in front of me. It's fine. We'll leave I'm it there. Concerned. Ollie Murs on Capitals. Thanks very much. Thanks, Ollie. guys. Thank you for having me. And um, I love JLS. Just before, no, I would save them all, really. Make sure you let Ollie know whether he's allowed to have a girlfriend and continue the conversation on the website, capitalfm.com. But you know what's going to so ha- you know happen now? Like, say I end up drowning and I'm with the JLS guys on holiday. They're actually going to leave me now. <laughs> That's what's happened. I apologise for the question. They're not gonna. They're not gonna save me. They were like, leave Ollie out there. But would you go on holiday to he, Norfolk? Broads? He only said he'd save one of us. Would I go to Norfolk Broads on holiday with with the guys from JLS? Is that gonna happen? Yeah, we could get one of them boats. What are them boats called? Canals. The little, little canal boat. We could chill out on there, have a bit of a party. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? I'm not sure it's likely, so I don't think you're gonna be in a situation. There's only room for five, so unfortunately you're not invited. I apologise about that. Oh, thanks. Sorry, mate. Ollie Murs on Capital. Thanks. Thanks very for much. having me. Seriously, <laughs> thank you. 